we are here discovering this brand new city. Yeah, we're in Vilnius for a few days and yeah, it's time to have a good time. We're going to go and find some fun things to do. We're actually staying in the heart of the old town, so that's a little different. Uh, we got a nice, nice place and we can't wait to check ourselves in and put our bags down and get going. We just finished getting some food after arriving here in Vilnius and there's this uh, like I don't know what to call it a festival of sorts with some people in costumes and they're doing like traditional things there's someone juggling there's all kinds of stuff going on here lots of people in costumes there's uh, soldiers there's people pretending that they've got guns and they're teaching them how to do this when I say aim, sinner fasten, only first line aims, second line stands ready and wait for their turn. When you lose the item, later shout it. Fire fry! Boom! <laughs> Everybody said, say boom. Yeah, everybody say boom. Again. Fire fry! Boom. Boom. <laughs> okay, that's incredible. So what a thing to stumble upon just our first uh, really few minutes here. This guy's destroying things. I'm not sure what he's doing exactly, but uh, he's uh, loud bangs are coming from this area. Oh, he's forging like coins and making necklaces or something like that. Yeah, right on. Pretty cool. All right, it's time for us to go and... Oh, hang on a second. St. Bartholomew's Fair. That's what this is. Yeah. Vilnius City Hall Square. Okay, so that's where we are. There's the program on today's Friday. So it's going all the way to like about 7. The same thing as tomorrow, so we'll be sure to come down here and check this out. So, St. Bartholomew's Fair. Here is a police in Lithuania, and there's a little fire going on over there. Yeah, so, Policia, here in Lithuania. Another grocery store that we've started to become familiar with is Rimi Express. It's in Latvia, too. And here we go, we're gonna go check it out. Time to go and get some food for our stay here. All right, the evening is upon us. We're checking out Vilnius. It's a pretty cool uh, fountain. Yeah, wherever you go, there are really awesome fountains, actually, all these old cities. So we're gonna go and find a patio. It's 30 degrees at least out here. It's quite warm. Everyone needs to cool down. There's a birthday girl sitting there who's uh, enjoying her birthday in two different countries. We were in Latvia this morning, so that's a special one. Not too many people can say that uh, they had uh, half a day in one country and half a day in another, uh, especially when they're not from either of them. So happy special birthday to Maya. Okay, yeah some uh, traditional music being played there. This is pretty cool. It's like a mist that you walk through to cool yourself down. You can like take a break in here and just feel the mist. Yeah. So, whoa. Yeah, that misted up the camera a little bit. And I, now I'm feeling a little wet, but there. Anyways, it's time to get a drink somewhere because we've been walking around in this heat. There's a cool looking bar. Buddy on a beer barrel holding a Ukrainian flag. Here's one of the uh, old town streets. Yeah, who's this? Kazimir Svajak. We're continuing on down through this narrow alleyway here with some really cool looks like i don't know if that's uh some sort of fabric anyway and they're all different flowers and there's this art that i was just showing that's kind of cool what yeah really medieval just like Tallinn and riga 
Gonna grab a couple drinks and sit down and cool down, cool off. Who hit John outside? Who hit John outside? Yeah, what an interesting name to choose. I'm not sure uh, why. I'm sure there's a story behind it, like most names. And here's my beer. It's a local IPA. Yeah, I didn't catch the name, but it tastes damn good. Back at the festival here. It's pretty cool, all these people in costumes. There's guys with like traditional pipes of some kind, some sound guy in the back here. Oh, look at this. These are like some of the who's who and there's like more of a gala up here. These are like uh, well-dressed people. Not sure what they're doing, but they're, uh, they're in this place here. So, yeah. Anyways, oh yeah, and there's some fire going on here on this hot summer day. This is where you come in, a red carpet. And there are all these folks having a good time over here. Gastronomic Vilnius. Yeah, and there's a QR code. Thing looks like it lights up in the evening. And it probably, if you scan that, you get to know where all the great restaurants are. Okay, I think this is Jonas Bassanavicius, but I could be wrong because it has his name on this inscription on the bottom. And I don't know, that looks like his signature there. Yeah, there's the man. Yeah, I'm not sure what he does because it's all in Lithuanian, but here's another nice little area with some patios, some place to sit down. And I think we're gonna do that. Right over here is the Philharmonic uh, Orchestra. You can hear them practicing actually. And just over there is a really cool looking church, I guess, because there's a cross at the top. The, the arch in the front is huge. This is the next place we're gonna go. It looks like an English bar actually, the Portobello Pub, Guinness. English telephone, another Guinness. Yeah, I'd say it's English in here. Okay, it is bloody hot here in Vilnius. The uh, bartender told me it's the hottest day so far this year. Yeah, it's somewhere in the 30s. We are at that English pub having a, another beer, a, a grapefruit pop with my company. And this is the bar. Right on, thank you. Having a good time. Cheers. It's a new day here in Vilnius. We are just leaving our Airbnb, going down these winding stairs, and we're about to do a walking tour. So yeah, that's gonna be really cool. Just as I've shown the bike lanes in the other cities, this is what it's like in Lithuania. Yeah, it's like a rubber bumper, sort of like in Latvia. Some street vendors setting up, selling their art. It's fairly early in the morning. There's all kinds of stuff up there you could buy. Yeah. Really gorgeous buildings here. Oh, look at that. Lithuanian t-shirts. 12 euros, eh? Huh, maybe I need a new shirt. 700 years old. Happy birthday, Vilnius. Happy birthday. Just hanging out in the park here before the walking tour. This is this huge, look at this, old log. Lots of mushrooms there too. And then this weird dome thing over there. Not sure what that is. And then beyond here was the first thing we noticed because it's really hard not to notice it. You can't see it yet through the trees, but I'll keep on walking this way and you'll probably be surprised too. Uh-oh, you can see it now. What is that? It's like a tower 
up on the hill. That's crazy. Look, you can see some people up there. Lithuanian flag, pretty huge. Nice. Here's yet another magnificent little garden and fountain. And it looks like it's part of this restaurant here. Yeah. This is where we are. R the Renaissance Palace Garden. Okay. Very interesting. Bona Seforsa. Yeah, that's her. And as you look down, it's really well kept. I'll walk over to the fountain to take a peek. Really nice. Yeah, and as per usual, there's coins in there. Make a wish. We're at the Palace of the Grand Dukes History, Art, and Archaeology Museum. Yeah, there's some of the tower. And this is where we're starting the tour, actually, with this statue of a soldier and a horse. So I'm sure we're going to learn who that is. I don't know at the moment, but that's pretty cool. So let's go and try to find it out. <laughs> okay, that was the uh, intro to this walking tour. It's about two hours long. Yes. Like I said earlier, it's freaking hot out here. So we're going to find out how old Vilnius is. So I suspect it's 700. There's like 700 written everywhere, but maybe it's not. Exactly 700 years old. So it's a big anniversary this year and uh, 700 years ago the city got established by that guy in the metal monument that looks a bit like Darth Vader. So it's 700. <laughs> this is the presidential palace. No flag, no uh, president right now. Here's one of the cool little monument exhibits here yeah so we just finished uh, learning about this place you can see the colors of lithuania there and the colors of the ukraine there and this is just to show the support for the ukraine it's an interesting building it's huge there's nobody in the courtyard here and the tour group is just beyond this hedge so i better catch up to them huge courtyard and we're going to learn about this in just a minute the tour group is coming in and look at that that's a crazy looking horse the tour is continuing up this street I just thought I'd pause for a second because there's this uh, image of this guy who yeah there's a thing that you can scan and say exactly who it is but he looks like a lot of different characters that are in history so yeah I can't tell you who that is but if you know comment below here's a local genius Vilnius Gaoni he uh, was a Jewish guy and there's a story to his appearance here too he yeah there's another little plaque commemorating his existence I say genius from the tour guide he was uh, getting involved with academia at the age of six uh, but there's stories behind this. I can't pretend like I know them all, but they're related to how the whole story and his image were skewed by the Soviet Union when Lithuania was under Soviet rule. It's a really popular spot. There's even a second tour coming here. This is an image from the Lithuanian pagan religion. It's a bear with a naked woman on top. Guess what they sell here? Yeah, you guessed right. It's a huge church. I showed it a little bit yesterday. We're actually staying close to here. And it's a Baroque church. Yeah, the Church of St. Casimir and the Jesuit House. All right, we just heard about uh, up here, this fortification area. It has a lot to do with uh, the independence from the USSR. Uh, 
quite a, quite a bit of stories. They have two Independence Days here in Lithuania. And one of them is the renewal of the independence, which is in, I believe, the 13th of January. And this is the 33rd year that they've been free. Okay, we're, we're off to someplace really interesting. Uzupio, the Republic of Uzupio. So if you go this way, you're entering this republic. I knew nothing about this before today. So they're saying uh, you don't need to uh, get your passport stamped, not today. Look at that, you can go drink at the river. There's like a swing and sit there, relax and enjoy yourself. But let's get back to the tour. She's about to tell us a little more about this place. Okay, we are entering the Republic. It's got some pretty cool rules, I guess. You have to smile. It has their own police. It has an army of 11 people, apparently. And what do you know? A bunch of walks, once again, on the railing along the river. And apparently this is where the President and the Prime Minister have their office in this river cafe. And they've been in power since 96. Um, yeah, so this is really curious. It's a bunch of artists apparently started this idea. They're not officially recognized, but it's really cool. They have their own currency, their own police. Yeah, there's some of it here. Oh yeah, check this out. Really, really interesting. So you can say that uh, this is like very, very unique uh, place here in Lithuania, but considered its own, it's, they haven't been challenged either apparently. So this is all legit. Uh, but again, they're not recognized officially as their own like country or whatnot. It's more of a state, you could say. We are approaching this huge castle, which is a church, of course, but man, I, I would also say it's a castle. The brick is really interesting. It's like red brick and there's some minarets and so on. Looks like you can actually get up on some of those. And there's another statue right there. Still at the tour with the tour group. There's tour groups everywhere. I'm really uh, impressed with how uh, busy and popular it is here in Vilnius, but I think that would have a lot to do with this 700th year celebration. So we just coincidentally uh, showed up here this weekend. None of this was planned. It's uh, as you, if you've been watching the uh, channel, you, you know that that's how we do things. So yeah, usually the best things in life you just stumble upon. Wow, that is crazy. St. Anne's Church. Okay, we found a cool place to eat, Bix Baras. Yeah, here's the door, pretty funky, lots of uh, stickers. So they actually have tacos here. So we're gonna actually have tacos in Lithuania. Yeah, set of three tacos, $7.90. And there's all kinds of cool beers here too. Hops and cannabis. Half a liter or a pint, four euros. So there's some pretty cool beers here. Okay, we got our food. We got our drinks, beer, some cherry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, a dark beer, three tacos, and a burger. All right, I'll tell you how it tastes and I'll tell you how much it costs after this. Okay, lunch is pretty much over. It was 29.10, so Everyone's nice and full. We're on our way to do some more adventuring. Okay, we're in Rimi, another Rimi here. I'm going to do this quick because there's music being played. Beer, beer, beer. This is beer in Lithuania. This is beer in Lithuania. If I keep talking, I may not get a copyright. It usually works. Here's some other drinks. But that is it. Okay, got a lemon drink here from Rimi to go and climb the hill. We're just walking away from... Uh, the old section and gonna go and climb that hill that we saw earlier today 
And yeah, that'll take up a lot of energy, but we have eaten quite a bit of food and everyone's feeling good. So let's go do that. Look at these birds, someone's feeding them. They're looking happy, having a meal. The pigeons are trying to steal it from these uh, white feathered ones. Yeah, looks like there's like bags here with stuff in it. Yeah, pretty cool. Found these dogs. It's a uh, Lithuanian hound is the only Lithuanian hunting dog breed. Cool. Three doggies. We are going up the Gedi Minas Castle Tower and it's that way. So we're gonna end up up there eventually. Okay, we're here. We're at the entrance. And this is where you start going up. It's cobblestone. Yeah, some old stone steps here too. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a trek getting up, but it'll be worth it in the end. The uh, view looks spectacular. When I looked up and saw the people up there, they looked like ants, so it's fairly high up. So let's get walking. Okay, we've reached the steps. Getting a little closer. Shouldn't be much longer and we'll be at the top. Okay, we just got to the top. Go a little further up, we will. Just go look over the side here for now. Yeah, and there's like this trolley lake thing you can bring yourself down and up, of course. So it's accessible to hopefully everybody. Not sure if it's completely accessible, but you can see quite a bit from here. And there's another side to the city, so we'll go to the other side now. And here is the other side. I'm a little out of breath. It's quite a ways up here. You can see people are on the wall. Yeah, there is grass and it's kind of rolling down. So maybe I'll go up too. And you can go up even further. There's like a tower right there. So really nice. What a gorgeous place this Vilnius is. Lithuania is a real gem. All right, we've been to the top. We've looked around. It's pretty cool up here. You have to pay to go up there. And I'll show you the price because it's pretty much the same as our lunch. So these are the months here. So it's eight euros for adults, four euros for kids. So 24 euros. Lunch was like 29 euros. So yeah, now nah, we can see quite a bit from up here. Going up that little bit further, I don't think is gonna, change it a whole lot but this is such a cool place to go to so it's free to walk all the way to the top here yeah and you can see like the whole city so we've spent all our time in the old town and that's still where we're gonna be this trip is just old town Vilnius and nothing more than that so when you're in old town Vilnius come here maybe go up there if you feel like spending uh, you know, 24 euros if you're two adults and two kids. Otherwise, just getting to the top here, totally worth it. Okay, time to walk down and go and do some more exploring. Okay, guess what we did? We got ice cream. Once again, kiwi ice cream and caramel ice cream. So this is country number six and the kids are six for six and getting ice cream in every country. Okay, we're here at this church that we saw earlier and we're gonna go inside and check it out uh, the doors are open my crew's already in there and we're gonna see what it's like inside wow it's huge Okay, that was the Church of St. Casimir. Yeah, really nice inside. People were sitting in silence, so I didn't want to disrupt them, but you got to see inside a little bit. So, okay, it's time to go back into the mist and cool down. Look at the mist, whoa. Yeah. You stand here long enough though, you're gonna feel soaked. Yeah, so I'm gonna get out of the mist.
I can see it all over my shirt. Okay, I just had a quick chat with this guy here, Arte Factai. It's like a cocktail bar here in Lithuania, and you can actually sit outside on uh, these seats here. And uh, yeah, so they uh, specialize in cocktails, but uh, they sold all the beer last night. Is that true? Yeah, we actually did. We only have the non alcoholic left. <laughs> That's awesome. Right on. So, uh, is this a newer place or has this been here for a while? We just opened about four weeks ago, but the last week we had the grand open. Okay, four weeks ago. So, it's just a short time. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just a week. Yeah, okay. awesome. I love it. Well, once you're in visiting Lithuania and Vilnius, come to Artifacti. Okay, we stumbled upon this uh, like workout park. It's pretty cool. There's all these machines you can use to do your workout. There's uh, my crew working out. And yeah, there's all these different rowing machines and stuff. This is a sweet idea because right there is where kids play and then the parents can uh, get a little workout in as they watch their kids on the swings. This statue is in memory of Dr. Tsemek Shabad. He's a Jewish doctor and it's pretty neat. He's got a little kid with a teddy bear beside him and he must have been a good doctor because uh, they put the statue up in his memory. Okay, the last events for the festival are happening here. There's some traditional dancing it looks like. So we're, we're gonna go and uh, check that out. Looks like uh, everybody's uh, crowding around. The crowd's a little bigger than it had been. So that's kind of neat. You can hear the music, it's pretty loud. And I can see them, uh, oh, I think they're actually acting something out. Hey, yeah, so we missed that, but you could hear a bit of it from over there. Here's that mist thing again that everyone loves. Oh. I'll lift the camera up so you can see. Seems like the very end of the uh, festival, the 700 years of Vilnius, is coming to a close. The crowd is really big. We're not that far from there. We're gonna go and uh, take a quick peek. They're still gathering around there. They haven't started walking away too much. So yeah, let's go and see what's over, over there before we go and grab some cocktails. absolutely amazing they're playing songs from all over the place they're dressed in some traditional Lithuanian costumes yeah this has uh, been a, quite a highlight here having uh, come here at the right time uh, yeah it's loud and there's a crowd here's the place from behind you can kind of see them through the curtains there there's a, oh the mist is back on too right on yeah, what a treat. Not sure what these guys are called, but man, did they ever put on a nice show here. Incredible, lucky us to witness all this. Really happy we're here right now. Okay, we're back to come and have a cocktail at that place. Yeah, so if you want to find it, it's just 
really close to the, uh, the square there where all the music was being played right across from this uh, pub here and the two dudes are just sitting around and we're gonna go and uh, have a drink with them and ask them some questions and answer anything they want to hear about what we're up to. Okay, here we are. We're grabbing a cocktail. We're here at this cool bar. You sit outside like this on the road. Yeah, like that's really amazing. These are really comfortable too. Uh, my father's an upholsterer, so I can really tell the quality of uh, cushions and stuff when I sit on them and I can say for sure this is really comfortable. It's in a really cool spot too, so I can see this place being super popular. Like these guys said, they've only been open a few weeks, but I think this is gonna be really fun. It's early, right? We're here a little early, but uh, yeah, we've got kids, right? So we're not 2 a.m. people, we're more like 8 p.m. So this is gonna be fun. Okay, we got our drinks. This is Aaron's cocktail. This is mine. Wow, that looks amazing and a little snack that they gave us too to go along with this so all right cheers aaron time to enjoy this yeah it's got a little spice to it it's really nice so i'm a spicy guy so this is really good okay i'm gonna shut the camera off and enjoy this drink okay we just uh, finished having a cocktail at that lovely place. Man, those guys are pros. Totally give them a thumbs up. Go and visit them. They really deserve the business because they know what they're doing. That was delicious. So thanks guys, really appreciate it. It's our last day here in Vilnius and we've wandered off a bit out of the old town. It's a bunch of interesting sculptures where we are right now. Just came back from the grocery store. Had to go to the grocery store at least once here. So we're gonna wander back because it's almost time to say goodbye to this beautiful country. We only have a few hours left, but we've got a couple uh, things we wanna see before we go and hop on the bus. You won't believe who I found. Leonard Cohen, Canadian Leonard Cohen. There's a statue of Leonard Cohen here in Vilnius. This is incredible. You're a good man, Leonard. Right beside the Leonard Cohen statue is Beardland. Because men know why, because women know why. Yeah, that's awesome. It's an Arabian barber shop. And wow, it's got a really good rating. All right, we are just on our way out of Vilnius now. This is where we are, over by a big uh, station, like the bus station, the train station, all in the same spot. And yeah, we're walking over to grab the bus. Here's the bus station in Vilnius. We're gonna go find a place to sit, relax. Okay, this is it, just leaving uh, Vilnius. This is it for our adventure here. It's been a really fun time. I. Uh, I can't believe we came right at the celebration of the 700th year. The parting was going on all night. We uh, go to bed early so we could hear stuff way into like wee hours of the morning. So even just before we were waking up, people were just going home. There were a lot of weddings and, and whatnot. So yeah, it was uh, an interesting weekend to be here. Wouldn't have changed a thing though. Uh, Meeting some of the uh, locals was kind of one of the highlights. Uh, we, we got to sit down uh, at uh, a cocktail bar with a couple guys and they were interesting. And uh, thank you both for that, guys, if you're watching this. And uh, yeah, here and there we got to have a little chit chat, learned a couple words in Lithuanian, uh, but traveled that or walked around the uh, old city extensively. I mean, one day was 20 thousand plus steps so that was uh, <laughs> that was a lot of walking around but we really got a feel of what it's like just to be in the old city and you know what we didn't go very far outside of there and no big deal that was uh, not not something we were planning on doing anyway we were here for such a short time just the three days so uh, will we come back absolutely 
Lithuania is really interesting. The history is incredible. I knew nothing about it until uh, the tour guide really filled us in. She was really, really informative. So I highly recommend a walking tour and you'll learn about all the little things that will make uh, Vilnius and particularly Lithuania more interesting for anyone who's never been here. So anyways, uh, yeah, on the bus ride back to Riga. And this is it for the fun in Lithuania and Vilnius. Kyle Live signing out. Peace. Take care.